Test, test. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our April 8th Lilburn City Council meeting. Glad you've taken time out of your schedule to come engage in the events of our city. Uh, not everybody does, as you know, and uh, we're determined to continue to build public connection with everything that's going on in the city of Lilburn. So, I don't have an agenda, but would you stand and let's pledge the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Let me offer a few announcements as we move into our agenda tonight. We have the Great American Cleanup. That is uh, this Saturday, I believe, the 13th of uh, April, 8 to 11, Lilburn City Hall. What are we allowed to bring to that event? Uh, city manager? Oh, I've got it right here. Um, Electronic recycling, TVs, CRT monitors will be collected, oh, for $25 each. Free paper shredding and recycling for ink cartridges, scrap metal, speakers, and tires. Four tires per household. This Saturday, Great American Cleanup. No paint. And that's going to be in this parking lot. And we have a town hall meeting. We do them the third, this looks like the, the third Monday night of every month from 7 to 8.15 down in the Preston room downstairs. And this is a pretty vital meeting whereby you set the agenda. We do not, I do not. And it's a time for listening, connecting, and addressing all the big items that you want to talk about. And so these have been going very well. We, I plan to do them once a month for the next four years. So unless you get bored with the uh, answers that we give there. And if you have issues that are bigger than what I'm aware of answering, then we're going to bring in the, connect you with the people that do have the answers, whether it's a staff person, whether it's city manager, whether it's getting legal counsel. It's just vital that we're all singing from the same page. So encourage you to come to that. A DDA meeting, that's the Downtown Development Authority, that's April 17th at 6.30 in City Hall in the Council Work Session Room. The DDA is the arm of, of the city to be able to move economic development forward in a more you know, speedy or rapid way, and so DDA is a vital component to what we do here. We have a couple of DDA members in the in the audience tonight, and we're certainly appreciative of the work that they do to move projects forward. We have a ceremonial matter, and that is we want to proclaim um, a number of years ago, about a decade ago actually, we had entered into an agreement with the state of Georgia to become a arbor a city, a tree city. And Arbor Day is our way of connecting, not Tree City, I'm, I err on that one. Is that Tree City? Is it? Okay. And so every year we re-evaluate and re-propose that we become a Tree City again to maintain that um, level of, of uh, our connection. And so we're proclaiming that April 26th is Arbor Day in the city of Lilburn. Are we having, Mike Beatty, are we having a service of, uh, where's Mike? Are we having a special event down at the pavilion or at the park or anything on our day? <coughs> I'm sorry, Rick. Our old, <coughs> my former neighbor was Mike Beatty. And so, <coughs> this is Rick Beatty. Are we, Mr. Beatty, are we having a, an event? Okay, there's none of, we used to, and it's not like we have to. 
but we've given out hundreds of trees over them, but the trees are always four inches, so I'm not sure how that really works <laughs> if uh, people. So August or uh, April 26th is Arbor Day, and we read that into our public uh, minutes. <clears throat> I take a motion for approval of the minutes for the March 11th City Council meeting. How would you vote? Is there a motion? Okay. Motion to motion by Council Member Puala and second by Council Member Batterton. All in favor of accepting those minutes, this passes 4 0. Thank you very much. We have a public hearing. This is for the approval of SUP 202401, granting a special use permit. That's an SUP, special use permit, for an auto and truck service center at 621 Indian Trail Road in Lilburn. Now, let me familiarize you with what this is. If you go on Indian Trail heading toward I-85 and you get to Dollar General, is that what it's called? Dollar General, across the street is a, a group of automotive uh, suppliers. The one on the corner is called Lear Cap. As you pull in that driveway, to the right is a semi-abandoned car wash. This SUP proposal that I just read into the record is to create a, a new business in that abandoned car wash for safe light auto repair. Uh, their desire is to rehab the building, put in a customer service area in there, and clean it up our... Uh, Staff has proposed approval for this contract with conditions. Oh, would you read the conditions into the public record? Good evening, Mayor and Council. Uh, as you stated, this is on 621 Indian Trail over Road. You can see it here in our zoning map. It is zoned CB and has been zoned CB as far back as city records go. Uh, here's an GIS aerial of the site. Uh, as the mayor was pointing out, Uh, the, number one. the building to the rear is uh, Global Tire. Uh, it's an automotive shop. Uh, the building with the one on top of it is the Lear Auto Cab uh, accessory store that the mayor was referring to. And the uh, building to the left, the west, is where the Safe Light Auto Glass is proposed to go. Uh, here's the applicant's site plan. Again, same orientation. Uh, staff found that it was substantially in compliance with the criteria for granting an SUP, and so we are recommending approval with conditions. Uh, I will read the conditions into the record. Uh, number one, all cars stored on a lot must have a valid license plate and be screened from view of the right of way. Two, no body or paint repair. Three, no washing of parts or vehicles outside the building. Four, no heavy equipment service as described in Article 6. Five, no used auto part sales. Six, no, no broker office or vehicle sales. Seven, service permitted only in enclosed bays. Eight, the property shall be required to comply with the current US 29 overlay landscaping requirements. Nine, no outdoor storage of tires. And 10, storage of cars awaiting repair must be screened according to code. Uh, all public hearing, all, all public notice requirements wet and staff may uh, receive no public comment. Before I receive a motion on that uh, SUP, may I have a motion to approve tonight's agenda? Second. That's been approved and second. All in favor? Well, it has been proved that we can consider our agenda tonight. The first item on the agenda has just been read and spoken into the record. Are there comments of the staff or of the uh, council? Do I have a motion on? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. This is a public, public hearing. I'm sorry. Uh, but we're going to move into a public hearing, and that is if you would speak against this application, if you would come to the uh, podium and give our city clerk your name and address. And if you'd like to speak for this motion, you would do the same. And so... If you would like to speak against this proposal, will you now come to the, any of those speaking on behalf of this approval? Hearing none, we will go forward. We, how would 
you like to proceed on a motion? Council. Correct. Is there a motion? Motion to approve by Council Member Poella, second by Council Member Battert. Further comment? Hearing none, all in favor? This motion passes four to zero. Oh, and the bell rings. That's really good. Secondly, we have uh, an agenda number item number one, the resolution 2024-04, resolution to approve the execution and delivery of two intergovernmental agreement contracts. These are going to be subject to approval as to form of the First Amendment to the Development Agreement. This is the financing piece for the apartment complex that's been um, heard for the last that it's been on the table for the last year or so, or last months and months, and uh, we're getting to the final piece of this um, application. This is for the parking garage, the parking deck portion of this. Um, what would be your council's favor in this or this, this well, motion? Read all of this in the public record. This is a resolution of the mayor and the council of the city of Lilburn to approve the execution and delivery of two intergovernmental governmental contracts, a First Amendment to Development Agreement, a Second Amendment to Development Agreement, and supplemental approval of the execution and delivery of a pilot agreement. The participation by the city of Lilburn, Georgia, in the validation of certain bonds and for other purposes, subject to the approval as to form of the First Amendment to the Development Agreement. What is the will of the council? May I have a motion? I have a motion to approve as read into the record motion. by the mayor. Motion to approve by council member Hart, second by council member who else? Okay. Further comments from the council? Hearing none. All in favor? Oh, boy. Yep. I have a comment. Could you turn your mic on for a comment? After much deliberation uh, and hearing the comments at the mayor's meeting uh, that we had in March, I, I've decided that with the, the possibilities of negative uh, things happening if we don't go through with this, I've decided that I'm going to vote for it. I hope you know it's not something I like. We're trying to make lemonade out of lemons here. So I, I hope you all understand that. The council has struggled with this decision, and we've done a pretty major work in trying to understand the pros and cons. So this has been an emotional decision, it's been a, a heartfelt decision, and quite a labor-intensive decision. So we have a uh, motion and a second discussion, further discussion. All in favor? Three votes. All opposed? One. This passes three to zero. Three to one. I'm sorry. Three to one. What am I saying? Next agenda item is the um, approval of resolution 2024-03. This is a resolution adopting the City of Lilburn's 2024 Comprehensive Plan Update. We did this last month. Uh, Reed, would you come and get us up to date on where we are. Uh, 
Uh, yes. Uh, the Mayor and Council adopted the 2024 Lilburn Comprehensive Plan update at their meeting on March 11, 2024, swapping Chapter 7 of the 2019 Comprehensive Plan with Chapter 7 of the proposed 2024 Comprehensive Plan. The state-mandated process for attaining qualified local government status requires local governing authorities to approve comprehensive plan updates that have been vetted and approved by the Georgia Department of Community Affairs, or DCA. Uh, the DCA required another review of Lilburn's 2024 plan given the significant change made at the March 11th Council meeting. The DCA has since reviewed and approved the modified plan. At this time, the Mayor and Council must re-adopt the resolution adopting the 2024 Comprehensive Plan to comply with the state-mandated process for compliance. Re-adoption of the DCA approved plan will trigger our compliance as a qualified local government. So we've already dealt with this um, plan, a comprehensive plan. It's been reviewed. It's come back, and now it's just a matter of form that we vote on it the second time. May I have the council's approval, disapproval of the plan? May I have a motion? Motion to approve. Motion to approve by Councilmember Fun Monin, second by Councilmember Batterton. Any other further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? This passes four to zero. And finally, on our agenda tonight, approval of 2024 mayor appointment for Mayor Pro Tem. That would be Councilmember Batterton. Would I have a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Been, and a second? Second. Motion to approve by Councilmember Fun Manan. Second by Councilmember uh, Puella. Further comments? Hearing none. All in favor? This passes by four. Are you allowed to vote for yourself? <laughs> this passes for zero. Thank you for coming tonight. I now call this meeting adjourned. This is the worst part.